today we're going to be going over how to use Wonderdraft to make a seamless global map. To accomplish this, we will be using Wonderdraft 1.0.4 Beta 2 or later, in conjunction with a fantastic web application called Planet Maker by Kevin Gill. I'll link to his website and Twitter below so you can follow along the tutorial. For those who want to go the extra mile, I'll also be making an additional video on more technical tweaks to your planet. To get started, you want to create a map using the equal rectangular 4K template and also the Terra theme. This will create a canvas where the water is not only equal to rectangular, but also seamless from left to right. Once you've done so, go to the landmass wizard and change the pattern to equal rectangular. All of these settings are new in the latest beta. Now you can just right away click generate and wait until you see a landmass pattern that you like. But do keep in mind to change the settings for your own taste and especially adjust the water level to the amount of water on your world. The reason why you want to start with the landmass wizard pattern is because this new setting generates a world where it accounts for the distortions along the poles that happen in an equal rectangular map. If you don't do so and draw as is or use a different pattern, you'll get distortions where land masses in the poles are much smaller than you would expect. After you've decided on your land mass shapes, you can use the razor lower land mass tools to make some tweaks to your land. However, I would advise against too many changes as the more you make, the harder it is to make it look good once projected onto a globe. Next, I would then paint the terrain to whatever biomes you believe your world has. I'll be fast forwarding through this area since I've explained how to paint in other tutorials before. Once you're satisfied with your terrain, it's time to move it into the Planet Maker app. What you want to do is to export uh, your normal setting out. Once you've loaded the Planet Maker website, you'll be greeted with this beautiful picture of Earth. The first thing you want to do is to change the texture resolution to 4K to match those we've exported. Next, you want to set a custom texture and choose the surface image that we've created and then drag the picture onto this slot called surface and click OK. You want to click the texture drop down here and scroll all the way down to custom and then we have our very first planet image. If you left click to drag you can rotate the planet around and look at different aspects of your world. If you want to make any changes, you can just pop back into Wonderdraft, make them re-export and re-upload your texture using this button. The last settings I would tweak is to add a background by changing the star type to image and then choose any of these preset images that they have or choosing a custom texture image. I personally like the first one so we're just going to stick with that. And then I also prefer to change the atmosphere color to something that feels a little bit closer 
to that of Earth. First, I would choose a bluer color, somewhere around here. Increase the density to 1. Altitude. And there you have it. Thanks for following along in this tutorial. I hope to see you in the advanced version of this tutorial with more tweaks.